Hi, I'm Anna Maria Church. I am a pediatrician at Paris Pediatrics. I've been here since January of 2020. I have been a practicing pediatrician since 1982, and you don't have to tell me how many years that is, um, but I've been in practice a long time. I'm Pamela Evans, I'm a physician, and I specialize in obstetrics and gynecology, and I have been in private practice since 1999. Please, please, please vaccinate your children. If they're 12 or older, they should be getting the COVID vaccine. Um, the Pfizer vaccine is approved for 12 and up. If, if your children are younger than 12 years old, I would strongly encourage all parents to get vaccinated so that they can give some semblance of protection for their littler children. This vaccine we know is very safe and I would strongly recommend for women and teenage girls to receive the vaccine. Um, and perhaps my strongest recommendation is that my own teenage son has received the vaccine. We have a lot of information that the virus itself can cause significant problems, but the vaccine does not. And that's not just me, that's also information gleaned from our group colleges, um, including the College of Obstetric and Gynecology and the um, reproductive endocrine technologies that support infertility evaluation and treatments. They strongly recommend that patients who are in the fertility process receive the vaccine. And we do not see problems with fertility with women receiving the vaccine. We do see women who've experienced the COVID infection to have um, more pregnancy complications, a higher miscarriage rate, a higher stillbirth rate, a higher preterm delivery rate, and other complications in their pregnancy, including low fluid around their babies while they're pregnant. It is a myth that vaccine affects fertility. It is also a myth that it changes the DNA of the um, person getting vaccinated. It is also a myth that there is a chip in the vaccine um, that government has put in there to spy on people. If you hear any of these myths and you're concerned about them, call us. We'll walk you through it and why what you're hearing is not the case. This is really one of the safest vaccines um, because of the methodology of the vaccine. I think it's really unfortunate that for something that we know is so beneficial, there's so much misinformation about the vaccine itself. It is an RNA vaccine, but it will not affect your DNA. It's not biologically possible for it to do that. The technology and research behind an RNA vaccine had been in the works for over 10 years before we confronted COVID. That's to our benefit. We had the ability to immediately use that accumulated research to quickly get a COVID vaccine. And without those 10 years of that research on an RNA vaccine technology, it would have taken us much longer to get a COVID vaccine. I'm very concerned, uh, Tennessee and several other Southern states especially, have very low vaccine rates that can um, lead to the Delta variant spreading rapidly and causing all kinds of havoc. I'm concerned about Tennessee's low vaccination rate. I'm concerned about the low vaccination rate in the Southeast and in our country and in our world. Our ability to recover financially and physically and health-wise from this COVID situation depends so much on enough people getting their vaccines. We don't see children paralyzed from polio anymore and that's because our polio vaccine usage was so widespread. We should be able to do the same thing with COVID. If you've been wondering where or how you can get a COVID vaccine, there's a great opportunity this Saturday. It's from eight to 11 o'clock. It's at the Eagle Creek Clinic, which is out towards the lake. Great drive, beautiful scenery, and great venture for you. But it's for children starting at age 12 through 17 and all adults above that age. It's also available um, at some of the pharmacies if you don't wanna go on Saturday. Some of them do not have the Pfizer vaccine, which is the one that's approved for 12 and up. 
So you might want to call ahead and find out who has what. And I think for our youth, in order for them to have their sporting program, their athletic program, an excellent school experience, um, protecting them is important. And this is gonna give them normalcy back to their life.